This last weekend, we headed down the creek so that we could sight in some rifles and have a little gun fun. When we were down at the creek uh, the preceding weekend, we sighted in Matt's 308, and unfortunately, we had to shoot through a lot of weeds. We hadn't got a chance over the summer to go ahead and clear a lot of that area. Matt took this opportunity to get the tractor down there with the bush hog so that we could have a little bit better sight on this small triangular island between uh, two branches of the creek. Once he finished up clearing off a lot of the area at the widest and most level point, I threw the drone up into the air and the rest of the crew started getting things set up so that we could sight in some rifles. This area is fairly nice for sighting in short distance from the utility pole to the apex of the little triangle of the island is approximately 50 yards. If we're going to be doing any shooting further than 50 yards, we have to cross the point where these little branches of the creek meet and go on over to the other side of the big hill. Matt's heading over there now so that he can set up the target so we might be able to shoot a little bit further range. This area of the creek usually is flowing most times of the year, but with the really dry August, we have very little water remaining in a couple of selected pools along the way. And a lot of the rocks have been changed, so we can't drive the ranger all the way over to the other side anymore. So Matt's gonna have to walk up to the area, crossing two of the other little branches before he can set the target up. August has been pretty brutal with no rain and the creek beds are bone dry with only a few areas of water, usually where it's four to five foot deep. Matt got the target in position and you can see it at the top of the screen just to the right of the center as the small white square that ranged out at approximately 140 yards, which was pretty adequate for Dustin to sight in his new uh, Browning X-Bolt. John and Matt alternated between the spotting scope and binoculars to uh, give Dustin some guidance on where the bullets were impacting the paper until he was finally able to uh, get somewhat close to the bullseye. After taking a few shots, we decided to fly the drone up to uh, check the target uh, to see how far things were from the uh, bullseye. Unfortunately, we were using the same target that uh, Matt and I had used the preceding week, and that made it a little bit confusing with some of the previous holes that were uh, there on the target. Dustin shot just a little bit high and to the right, as you can see, the previous holes from last week were outlined in the uh, green circles, and uh, 
new dust and shots were outlined in the blue. We moved up to the apex of the triangle after we had changed up some targets and uh, finished sighting in so that we could do some offhand shooting with some of the other rifles. Matt was helping Abby uh, with the AR since I don't believe that she's been shooting very much rifle offhand and the target was essentially at a hundred yards from this distance she did fairly well. Justin got out the 22 for Wyatt so that he could uh, start doing some offhand shooting and for a youngster he was doing fairly well he had a little bit of difficulty being able to correctly get the distance from his eye to the scope so that he could adequately see the target eventually he was able to get things figured out and get the target properly aligned Target aligned, safety off, and ready to shoot. Boy, its accuracy was a little bit off with the offhand, so he moved down to a sitting position with the rest and was able to uh, get things aligned a little bit better and was able to uh, at least get a bullet on the paper. The boys decided to practice the uh, belt loop bump and uh, were able to get fairly proficient after a little bit of practice. my belt loop. There it is. Safety is what I did. When we were done with the uh, distance shooting, we moved back towards the utility pole where we have some plastic bottles set up as our little bitty plinking range so that we could uh, break out the pistols and do a little plinking practice. Yeah. 
you're kind of shooting, you're kind of shooting like this, kind of square up at it. Bring, you want to make a nice isosceles triangle. Shoot like this. Shoot like this. Like you want to make a nice, like, like straight, like you want the gun directly in front of you. Okay. I decided I better change my position of the uh, GoPro so that we could at least see some of the bottles as they were being missed or hit. Boy, it needed a little bit of uh, assistance and some oversight with his uh, first time shooting a 22 pistol. Since Wyatt did fairly well with the 22, he moved up to uh, the 9mm and actually did fairly well. After a little bit more plinking, it was time to break out the clays and the thrower and the uh, browning over and under 12 gauge. We did have a few issues with the thrower and ended up breaking a few clays before they could actually get into the air. How many shells you got in there? Two. Oh, really? All right. I got a piece of that. Oh, 
See how good that was? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Didn't even have to pull the trigger. He was afraid of me. After a little practice, John was getting a little bit more proficient at uh, busting some of the birds. After Dustin broke a few birds, they convinced the old man it was time to shoulder a shotgun and see if he still knew how to shoot. Oh. I decided I better take at least one practice shot before I started busting some of the clays. Of course, Matt didn't take any practice shots because he rarely ever misses. Where'd he go? Turned into dust. Pull. Yeah, that works much better. Pull. Okay, although rare, he's still not Tom Knapp. <laughs> 